Hey, it's me, the Afro Hamurai. I like making sure that, you know, I feel good and clean. And of course, being a dude, kind of needed to make sure I get myself a relatively decent shaver. So um, I, got, I got manscaped. Now this isn't the only time I've had Manscaped, I had their Manscaped 3.0, that was a few years back, I kind of liked it, there were some things that weren't that great, so I got some of their newer stuff, I think I've had it for like a few months now, I thought I'd do an actual review of Manscaped, because I'm sure there's reviews out there, but then there might be those whole affiliate link things. What this at least means is that you know that you're getting it from a dude who literally doesn't care whether you buy it or not. I think it's like a deluxe version that I got. It came with this. It came with some underwear. Um, I'll talk about the underwear. I'll talk about all of the bits and then that's pretty much the video, isn't it? Underwear. Um, I don't know where it is. I'm too lazy to go and get it. Now they say it's anti-chafing underwear and as much as it kind of does feel nice to wear, it's not necessarily that it chafes, but I kind of find that it just rides in a really awkward way. The only way I can really actually describe it is as slightly strangely uncomfortable. Now I'm here in the UK, so I have a few options on stores to get underwear from. I usually tend to use Uniqlo. They have their Aerism and Heat Tech underwear, and I find that both of those are way more comfortable, in my opinion, than the Manscaped one, even if they chafe a little bit, because you can just just go maybe a size up and then it works out okay. I also have a subscription for underwear called On That Ass that I use and I find that that underwear is actually slightly more comfortable than the Manscaped underwear so it's, it's alright. I don't really think it's anything special or at least not special enough that you should go to Manscaped for your underwear needs at least. Now that we finished talking about the underwear we get to go inside here and look at our first thing which is this. I think they call this the Weed Whacker, it's their ear and nose hair trimmer. It's kind of good in its design, but it is a design that I've seen before. I found it. <laughs> this is the Panasonic ERGN30. It uses a similar blade design to the top of the Weed Whacker where it's kind of like rather than a blade that's exposed it's inside this and it kind of twists around and it's meant to be smooth up against your ear or your nose so that it doesn't necessarily nick or cut you. Um, the difference is genuinely I find that the Panasonic one does a better job than this does. <laughs> I've got very real. I don't know I think this is the only Manscaped review where two of the products I talk about straight away I just don't really like that much. To be fair this one does feel feel really nice. I have a couple of ear and nose hair trimmers. I have that Panasonic one, then I have a Philips one that's kind of straight and all of them are kind of made out of a really hard plastic that doesn't feel nice to hold. In terms of its ability to cut, um, I find that it's fine if you have ear hair that you want to cut. With nose hair it can kind of be a bit of a mixed bag. I admittedly have quite thick nose hair. It's not a terrible product but I feel like a lot of its benefit comes from its feel in the hand and the fact that it's recharged rather than needing to use AA batteries which admittedly as much as you can get rechargeable AA batteries that's still money that you have to spend on the rechargeable AA batteries and then the charger for it whereas this just does it straight out of the box so it's not terrible maybe you don't get it on its own but get it if you're gonna get it in a package with other stuff it's, it's not it's not a bad shout okay next up we have accessories we have the crop reviver and we have the Crop Preserver. This is ball deodorant and ball toner. So this is like a toning water. You spray it down there, give it a spritz. You're good for maybe an hour or two. The ball deodorant is great as an all day thing. I usually use this after I have a bath or a shower. It does say anti-chafing. I don't find that it helps a lot with chafing because I don't really tend to have that as a big issue, but it is quite nice just to feel a bit fresher. These I enjoy. I wish I could just get these from like a supermarket or if another company makes them. If they do, I might review those as well. But this this is this is a good idea. I like this and I like the toner as well. In fact, I like this so much, I have two of them. Um, I think this one's newer than this one. I'm gonna wait for this to empty and then I'm gonna use this one. Yeah. Now we get to the main event, the lawnmower. I like this because it made me not scared of shaving genuinely. I always had the fear that I would cut myself 
because there was one time where I cut myself and ever since then I was like, I, I just can't shave down there anymore because I'm scared. Um, the Lawnmower 3.0, which is the one before this, it kind of has a bit more of a curvier look to it. I used that and I'm telling you, that changed my life kind of a little bit. It made me shave more. Now I've got the 4.0 because it has a light in it. Look, there is the light. These blades are easily replaceable. You basically peel it off, put a new blade back on. They come in a pack like, like this, and then it has the instructions on the back as well. Um, it's, it's good, I like it. I like the fact that it is just a thing of taking the blade off and just putting a new one on. You can even go in and do any sort of cleaning or lubrication or anything like that that you need to for the mechanism in here. It charges wirelessly but that's one of the problems I have with it. So what I wish was the case was that this either had a case that you could put it into, like a little sleeve or something that you could plug into a power and then you could use that to charge it, or preferably with the fact that wireless charging is something that's relatively standard across lots of consumer electronics, that you could just use this with a standard wireless charger. But no, because it uses its own induction charging, you need to have this thing. If you lose this, you can't charge this. That's basically it. Now that is a bit better than the previous version of the lawnmower. With that one, if you lost its cable, you had to find that cable and I kind of just gave up and just didn't charge it, which is why I bought this in the first place. It's good that this uses USB-C. It can work from power packs if you want to, so you can have a power pack connected into this. This sits in here, then it charges it up. The little light at the bottom, that turns on to tell you when it's charging. I just wish that there was another version of this that was a bit more portable and a bit easier for you to take around with you. It is cool that they give you the little attachments though. So it does come with attachments for length. So you can, you can, put, you can put this on and you can make it longer if you just want to do a general trim down. Um, this makes it really safe because really you're not going to hurt yourself with plastic unless you somehow do. In which case I'd actually be slightly impressed to be fair. Does it live up to the promises? Kind of, yeah, I find it. The biggest thing for me and the reason that I quite like Manscaped's products is from the experience of using the Lawnmower 3.0 in that I could use it and I wasn't worried about whether I would hurt myself. And that's something that genuinely I'm scared of. I think that most men, if they wanted to shave, would be worried about that. And if you're gonna be in the comments saying, oh, but I'm a professional, that's, that's great for you. I'm not. That's absolutely fine. Also, it introduced me to this, like ball deodorant. Like, of course I use soaps and body scrubs and so on, but this is just a nice little extra to make sure that your skin is all right down there, you know? That, that's really nice, definitely. My recommendation, if you're thinking of getting Manscaped, is that you look at getting their lawnmower because that is by far the best product that they make, the little, you know, trimmer that won't really cut you or anything like that. The ear and nose trimmer, that's an okay thing if you get it as part of a bundle and you get a relatively decent price from any YouTubers discount codes that they do then it kind of is worth it but there are better options in my opinion rather than that. I mean you know you can get the little Panasonic thing that runs on AA batteries and this has the same design and also has a really cool way of cleaning it or if you wanted something that had a bit more of a standard design this is the one that I was talking about I forgot it was in the bag it has the you know straight design Design, that can go up against your skin and it's still relatively safe and also still washable and runs on a AA battery. I haven't replaced that since I got it. I've had this for a year, so you'll still get good life out of it with it. I do like the nice snazzy bag though. Like there are a few bags that you can get that would fit in all of your toiletries, but this is this is quite nice. I could just use it to store everything. I could maybe even put like a put 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 a pokeball in there. Yeah, there you go. Right. There you go. And then it's, it's it's safe. I can take any Pokemon I'd like around with me. Um as long as it fits into this little ball. And that's what I think about Manscaped. I have a comment section. Feel free to tell me if you've bought it, what you think of it, what your opinions are. Maybe I'll do a follow-up. I don't know. Yeah.